Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, one win, two losses. Time to watch this fairly sad deck come to its predictably sad conclusion. I don't think being a warrior in the arena helps, but this was not a particularly good warrior deck in the arena anyway. But even for the arena, it was not a good warrior. Let's see if we can get up to three wins, though, because that would be awesome. Three wins, lose slightly less money. Find an opponent, well, maybe two. Okay. Garrosh versus Uta. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. Um. Wow. Get rid of those. Let's see a cultist. There's a three-four for three. Even if the abilities all blow and are useless, it's actually pretty strong. One of the better cards in this deck. There aren't that many like warrior class cards, so I don't have a lot of things that have those extra those stat points. Enough stat points that it can have abilities that are wasted and useless and still be good size for the mana. No first turn play for my opponent. That's great. I've got lots of three mana cards, so I'm going to not use my coin first turn. I'm gonna use it second turn. Get on one of these threes. The egg would be a good thing to get spell damage to, unless it gets science. Then it would be bad. He's the refund your buffs guy. That's kind of annoying. Because he may just get, like, blessing of plus three attack and then kill this. Or blessing of the champion, which would be terrible because that's a really, really strong card. Is that still out there? Is that still in? I don't know. Every time I play this, I like forget if like the old school cards are still in the arena. Dark Conviction. Oh, you're gonna get your Dark Conviction back. That's interesting. Although he still needs help. There's the Blessing of Might. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, this is pretty unfortunate. Okay, not killing my guy. But yeah, I I think you call my bluff there. I can't just take that much damage every turn. That'd be bad. That would be pretty bad. I have to take another 6 damage just to keep this guy alive. I've got to do it, even though my opponent can just turn around and cast all those buffs again. Do I drop the egg? So I drop him, then I'd be able to buff it with this, but that doesn't make much difference because this drop is usually a trade. I think I'm going to play the egg. Seems like kind of a sad play against an empty board, but... Yeah. There was a lot of buffs that he got to use and get double value out of and not lose them so he can get, like, further, even more value. Um, so this guy would die to kill that. That's not great. This guy is kind of sad, too. I think I'm just going to play this. So he could consecrate, not kill the egg, and have, have his and you know, have his honey cake and eat it, too. But, yeah, actually, consecrate and then replay his uh, blessing would be a pretty annoying turn. Speaking of annoying, he's discovering dragons. That's really bad news, because now he's got at least two dragons in his hand. One of them he got to discover. Hooray. Reporting for duty. So what am I gonna use to kill Oh, that's that's better. That that's okay then. I mean this is a waste of this gigantically awesome power, but eh. And let's give the egg spell damage, because why not? Do I even have any damaging spells? I think I have one Consecrate, don't I? Yeah. Feel the terror. 
I have a decent sized army of crap, but I've taken 10 damage and he's got dragons. He might have pulled out a legendary dragon to kick my ass with. That's also not helpful. Yeah, you should really kill the wasp, I think. Even though the other guys are 2 4, the wasp is way bigger threat to humankind. Although, I guess you do lose your guy this way, you can kill a 2 4 and not lose. Oh, yeah, if you have that, definitely the wasp. Okay. So that's not good, but I can cleave that to soften him up and then take him out with stuff. Uh, do I, I know a guy, or do I trade him to kill that thing? I trade him or both of these guys. They're not that great. They don't have any useful keywords. Wait, this is three damage. Oh, that's awesome. I forgot I had a spell damage egg. Woohoo! So I could play this and still do one of these two. Mostly him. Yeah, I'll save that, definitely. Let's take whichever card is biggest, because I'm going to need the help later. I'm doing okay right now. Ash to ash. Okay. Never go ash to mouth. Uh. Anyhow. So now what are you doing? I'm feeling a little better, but there's still two dragons in that hand. There's only one in mine. That is a large dude. I had to get myself a dinosaur. Get in there, fight, maggot. And I think I'm going to have to lose this guy to get through that. I might regret it later when I don't have more stuff. We all scream for hell scream. So I have full and total board control. Let's see how it falls apart. He's now got eight mana. He should be able to cast whatever like most dragons that he would have discovered. Not to mention the one he started with. That is not even a dragon, even though it's got dragon in the name. So you have a secret to get that back at one health, I guess? Uh, excuse me. Well, I can play this as a taunt to protect myself, so that's good. Let's, uh, let's buff my dinosaur so that it can kill that and survive. Now, it may get decoyed by uh, a secret. Yeah, and it does. And that's okay, because if that happens, then if the secret was that, then by definition it was not the revive one. So, you can just kill him with these guys. Right, we'll play Tonto here. Thing. Da, 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 da. You're over costing. Da, da. Yeah, I'll pay it. As long as you block everything that would come Not for me. Oh. Bubbling the ghoul. Not okay. I mean, it'll it'll start to get big, I guess. I think I do have to take out that ghoul, don't I? I've just gotta I've just gotta eat the damage on my guys. If I can't let that ghoul grow, it would be unpleasant. Six. Drop this guy, who would also probably benefit that ghoul. Armor up. I'm hanging on to this, obviously, because it I don't want to kill all the minions right now. I only need to, I need to save one of these guys in case I get an elemental thing, but I might as well play one now. Hell, I might draw the element I might draw the servant of Kalmos next turn. More likely I'll just save this guy in my hand forever and never draw him and it won't matter. So I've got a full army of crap. One consecrate would obliterate me. Really bad. Deathwing. Also fairly obliter obliteratory. That got your hand, but now you have a Deathwing. So that's no good. I'm going to have a hard time taking that out. Servant of Calamos! I maybe should have played the other dragon first, but eh, Servant of Calamos. i got to find out what i got coming. Oh, those things are not really good enough. 
Like the Tar Lord doesn't even fare well against it. I think I'm going to take the Tar Lord anyway to try and do as much damage to it as I can, but I can't play him right now. Man, if I did the Tar Creeper, I could play him now and armor up. He does 3 damage instead of 5. 9, with 3 hit points left. 5's not enough anyway. I guess it's still going to kill my Primordial Drake at some point. What now? I'm just not sure this guy's doing enough better for me. I think I'm just going to take the Tar Creeper in the armor. It's probably a mistake, but I'd be doing like nothing right now, so... I'm not going to win the race of 12 against 12 damage versus 4, though, especially since if it looks like I was winning the race, he'd just turn around and kill my 4. So, discovering this was pretty rough. That's what he discovered, right? Yeah. God damn it. It was a game winning discovery. That could be. No, no it probably won't be good, actually. Alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of those idiots. And I now technically have enough damage to kill your guy, but I'm going to hit you instead, because I'm hoping they're going to get... If, if I can't make these two run into that thing, I'm probably dead anyway. Like, I've got to kind of press whatever advantage I have. If he gets a card to turn it around, then I'll lose, but I'm in that kind of situation. Hey, that's pretty bad. I don't have, like, a hammer of kill your guy, right? No, of course not. Give me something good to eat. Um, wow, that's so close to being good and useful, but not really enough right now. So we're going to do this. Armor or Flaming Poop? That's a tough one, but if we could... Can we get rid of the Mammoth? 5, 8, or 7. I don't think this guy makes a difference in whether we can get rid of the Mammoth. Which is the key factor, so I'm going to armor up instead. I don't think he's going to equality. Yeah. Deathwing, very bad. Deathwing probably killed my arena run just because he was able to discover Deathwing. RNG! RNG! So, what is your card, though? Because I might if I might be able to kill them. I figure out the well, I can kill them. I gotta figure out the best way. That's good. I'm glad I have a big card, even though I can't play this turn. Okay, so I need to get ten damage together to kill this as efficiently as possible. It's not gonna be very efficient. But then anyone can trade and kill that. Everything that it takes, either of them is gonna die except for this guy anyway. I need I need everything right. Yeah, because even if I go 3, 4, nah, to kill that, or if I get 5, 4, 3 to kill that, and then either way he's going to come out and do it, and then that's going to be it. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how I do it, so... Taste my blade. I guess I should have played the poop, in hindsight, because it would have totally made a difference. Damn it. Well, we'll make up for it now by playing it too late. On the other hand, maybe those two hit points will make a difference. So I have a big card left. My, we both have crap in play because he can his, he can destroy my one decent thing easily. So the question is, who's going to draw more big cards now? I have one. How big is his card? Oh shit! Oh, that sucks so bad. I need to get a really good adapt on this guy. That sucks so bad. His, his card was big. I need a really good adapt. No, that's not what I needed. I really needed... Oh, God damn it. I, I really seriously needed three hit points. Possibly a Divine Shield. Divine Shield wouldn't have been as good. Do I do one damage to him 
Or do I damage the ghoul? I think I gotta damage this. There's a better chance I can take it out with my Murloc. Obviously, killing his 1 1 would be dumb because it would come back as a 2 2. Alright, well, that guy's power is wasted right now, but he's just being a 4 4 is definitely contributing on my opponent's side. You should have traded. Why did you do that? You should have traded the 1 1. He should have traded up his 1 1. He's, play he's making a mistake, but he's still way ahead right now. That, that ghoul was very strong. Do I have a big card? That is not a sufficiently big card. That is bad news. I think I'm going to lose. we got equal health, but my opponent has an army, and I don't. If he doesn't play his minions, they'll get bigger, but they can't possibly be worthwhile. He just needs to stomp me down. No, he'd rather get the plus one, plus one. I'm curious what it is. Oh, speaking of things that suck, bite me. There are lots of times in this game when this could have been useful. Not now. This is literally, playing this is just going to kill a 1-1. One, one. Do I even play it? I don't think I do. I'm probably dead anyway, no matter what I do. If I play this next turn before my other card, which will presumably cost six or less, then it will take two one ones to kill it. Although I'll probably be dead anyway. This is gonna kill me with the crap. I don't. I don't have anything to do to deal with it anymore. I just. If I draw a consecrate from this, I might actually still win. That is not a consecrate. I think I had a consecrate in here, didn't I? Doesn't matter. Game over. Because it easily has enough damage to kill me. If that slam had drawn a consecrate, this would have been. It might have been the most epic comeback in a long time. But no. Super dead. Dead cool. Yeah. I mean, he made the correct assessment that he had me beat, and that one more small minion wasn't going to make much, wasn't going to make any difference. So he might as well save it up in case there's an apocalypse and have a bigger minion that costs two. Damn it! I had a consecrate, right? I uh, did not have a consecrate. I passed it up at some point. So yeah, I was really drawing pretty dead there. Oh well. The Whirlwind, I would have drawn the Whirlwind, and it would have still been short, because it would have been the Whirlwind instead of the spell damage guy. That would have been so annoying. <laughs> Draw the Whirlwind and still die. Well, if I armored up, would I have had one hit point left? Probably. I might have still been alive. I don't know. Ooh, what I got? Bolvar Fireblood. Eh. As far as legendaries go, not exciting. But he's not, like, monstrously bad. Like, I might play him in a deck somewhere. But yeah, not not a great legendary to me, anyway. It doesn't seem that interesting. But I'll take it. Legendaries are cool. And we'll see if I can get an actual decent deck in the arena next time. Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.